Hi, right. everyone. Welcome to Consultancy Dreaming's first demo jam. Thanks very much for hanging around or using your lunchtime to come and join us. My name is Abigail. I'm the Customer Success Manager at Supermums Training. And with me today, we've also got Jen. Hi, Jen. Jen is our Marketing and PR Manager at Supermums and has also been putting a lot of work in today. And she'll be helping us out with the voting that will be happening later today. Um, I've really been enjoying a lot of the sessions and having the opportunity to virtually meet some of you today. It's been um, really fun and it's been really great for us to see all the feedback of how much people have been waiting for an event like this for consultants. So it's really great to see you all. Um, so I'm going to be running the demo jam today. Um, so we have got six great companies with us. It's really great to be bringing you a demo jam because as consultants, it's really important we have as broad insight as possible into all the different range of solutions that our um, potential customers could need. So for those of you who are new to uh, demo jam, we're going to bring you a real quick insight into six different, really varied um, companies from the App Exchange today. Um, and thanks very much um, to them for joining us today. What I'm going to do is give them a really quick wave, a quick hello. Then each one is going to have three minutes to tell us all the best things about their product. Um, we'll run through all six and take a few questions at the end while you also have the opportunity to vote for your favorite one. So without further ado, we'll just say hi and get all our jammers on screen to begin with. So first of all, we have got um, Chris. Hi, Chris. Thanks for joining us today. It'll be great to have you with us. And we have also got, let's see, I've just got to find everyone on this screen here. We've got Brooke and Michael. Hi, guys. Nice to have you with us today. Hello. And they are from Linvio. We've also got Luca. Hi, Luca from Native Video. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello. And Megan from Akunu. Hi, everybody. Peter from Duplicate Check. And Hi. If I can find him, here we go. Add the stream. John Michelle. Hey, here I am. How are you all? And you've got your lovely details in the background there. Great to have you all with us today. Sorry, I'm switching between screens today to try and make everything work. Um, so we're going to run through. First of all, we have got, first up, we have got. Cirrus and we've got Chris. So I'm going to remove everyone else. We'll come back to you all a bit later. Thanks for being with us today, guys. I'm looking forward to hearing about all your products. But we're just going to maximize the screen space for our lovely demo. We all know we want to see as many people as possible. So I'm going to wave goodbye to you guys and leave Chris with the screen. If you'd like to share your screen, Chris, that would be great. Let's see, have we got your screen anywhere? Yes, here we go. Add to stream. Right, I'm going to also set up the timer. So you're going to have strictly three minutes to go. So here we go. Away you go. Thank you for that lovely introduction, Abigail. And hello, everyone. Great to meet you today. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at Cirrus Insight, which is a Salesforce and email integration application. Founded back in 2011, we were a market maker and also still lead the uh, market niche of that with the second highest reviewed apps on the App Exchange. Cirrus Insight will work easily as a component for your Gmail, Office 365, or Outlook email clients by bringing in an elegant side panel that will be a direct window into your Salesforce database. At this juncture, you can do everything that you can do inside of Salesforce except reporting. And at this point in time, very simplistically to create new records, to have all your communication manually or automatically logged, view and update Salesforce records in real time. Outside of what makes us a great market maker, this deep and uh, very customizable Salesforce integration, we also focus heavily on sales enablement and a scheduling component. From inside my uh, inbox, I can go ahead and determine how I want my communication to be added to the system with one simple click, or even to set up an automation through a backend server side sync, setting the parameters based off the organizational needs. Inside the inbox, the rep has the ability to go through and work with every standard and custom object, as we will work with every single cloud and service component out there, updating their records in real time, and even creating their follow-up pieces from there. 
Very simple for us to track our customer engagement as we can showcase attachment tracking, email opens, link clicks, and even website visits. If we do need to leave the inbox, quick jumps to Salesforce themselves, also social media, because we do sell and connect outside of just the email inbox anymore. For the day-to-day, -day, we can go through and work our Salesforce workflows by allowing us to look at the Salesforce tasks that are assigned to us and even update the stages of any of our object types in real time. On our outgoing communication, we have the ability to outreach on a one-to-one -one or even a mass level. Going ahead and pulling those list views, this can easily be done by accessing the Salesforce templates inside your database, a quick merge, sending to one or uh, multiple individuals, tracking as you see fit, and even adding our scheduling component links that we can go ahead and create multiple links for each individual as well as for our different columns. Once those links have been created, they're clipboarded here. Very simple for us to go to and do one-click scheduling right from the outside inbox. And that's a quick high-level overview. Of course, we have a lot more, but please come visit our virtual booth here on the outside. We'll be taking questions and a short video as well. Thank you. Good job. That was, you had a few seconds left to go there as well. So really well done there. Thanks well, very much for sharing well that. Well to be an overachiever, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be taking some questions later. I've definitely got a couple of questions. Um, <laughs> that's the timer going off, there you go. <laughs> um, right, so we're gonna remove you. You can take a chill for a few minutes and then we are next coming over to our team at Lindio. So. Bye bye to you guys. Thank you very much. And hello to Brooke. Brooke, uh, ex supermum. Well, still a supermum, just not working with supermums now, let's say. That's a little unfair. <laughs> so um, thank you for joining us today. So Lingvio is the solution for native payments processing and events management in Salesforce. It was one of the earliest app exchange partners and was a first mover in the payments processing and events management space. Michael, who's been with Lingvio since the beginning and knows the product inside out. And as I mentioned, Brooke um, is indeed an ex supermum uh, from our supermum team, but also a current volunteer mentor. So thanks very much for staying involved. Um, so you guys are going to have three minutes, see if you can be as um, on time as I was there. <laughs> I will get your screen up, sorry, I've just realized that. And when you see me reappear, you'll know you'll only have 30 seconds left. So I'm going to leave you yeah, the layer of doom for a second. Right, I'll leave you to it now. Three, two, one, go. Awesome. Thank you for our first opportunity to participate in a, in a Super Mums demo jam. We're thrilled to be here. And we want to show you today how our product Linvio Events works with our product Payment Connect to allow you to manage uh, paid or free events in a beautiful digital experience. So today we have an example for one of our favorite fictitious customers, Grogu Experiences, whose mission is to allow parents to have awesome experiences with their children based around um, Star Wars themed events. So we have an upcoming event we would like to invite you to register for. Mike, you have that link. Could you share that with everyone in chat? Yes, um, and this is what the event page will look like, but we're going to show you the background for a minute, what your Salesforce users really care about. Um, what you can see in Linview events, you can see great statistics for your clients who don't aren't Salesforce experts necessarily, they will not know where Salesforce starts and ends and where our products begin because we're native to the Salesforce platform. And we have an upcoming event um, called a Potomon Plus workshop. The one we invited you to register for is a free workshop, but we wanna show you a little bit more about what we can do um, with an event that leverages more of our features, has paid options, has products that you can purchase because we all want that swag, right? Um, so we're going to invite you now to watch us register for the Potawan Plus workshop. We're going to register a couple people, very important participants in this workshop. We have Mr. Darth Vader who wants to connect with his children. So let's, <laughs> let's take a chance to get Gar Darth all registered <laughs> and we're just about to run to the limit of my um, Star Wars knowledge right now. <laughs> so it's a good thing this is a short demo. Um, so 
Darth and Luke are going to have a wonderful weekend of connection. And of course, they want a couple of Grogu t-shirts to go with this. And they want to they want to contribute to the Grogu experience with a donation. So these are all options that our customers can leverage. And then um, using payments on Salesforce, yes, out of the box, you don't have the capability to process payments in Salesforce. So Payment Connect can help you do that and to monitor all of your payment um, data quickly and easily in Salesforce. So let's get started here with this registration. Yay, they're all set to go for their event. <laughs> and they even download their event pass and you will be able to check them in on the day of the event and their attendee information will be all updated in Salesforce. <laughs> right now, I hear him. <laughs> can't hear you. <laughs> we can't hear you, Abigail. <laughs> I thought it's because I was messing with the sound because I thought there was some really bad interference going on, but it was just a <laughs> lot It was <laughs> more than me. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks very much. You were just about in time there. Uh, really great stuff. That you can do that. Film like integrations I'm getting on this uh, consultancy gym. And I was in a session earlier that was about. Um, Crossovers with Jurassic Park. So, <laughs> thanks very much for that. Um, we will be back with some questions for you later. Right, I'm just going to say goodbye to you guys now. Thanks very much. Okay, up next we have got Akunu, and I'm very glad. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced that right. They did give me instructions on how to pronounce that when I joined. <laughs> yes, I'm getting the thumbs up. Good. Thanks. Hi, Megan, Director of Partnerships and Alliances for uh, Akunu for Pipeline Reviews. It's their way to analyze and inspect opportunities within Salesforce. Akunu is built for sales leaders and account executives who want increased visibility to their pipeline, including what has changed, who um, deal health and faster ways to update and flag deals. Sales op leaders have called it a game changer to manage opportunities in Salesforce and focus on their team's time. All right, so let's see. Hopefully I've got your screen here somewhere. If you'd like to start sharing your screen, I will enable it for you. And then we'll get you started. Okay, here we go. Adding to stream. Right, I will be back when you have 30 seconds to go. So three, two, one. Oh, Great, exactly. thanks Abigail and team. You know, as a Salesforce consultant, you know, working with executives that traditional dashboards bring more questions than answers. They want not just data, they want insights, which is why we come into Akunu for pipeline reviews. In this case, we can see what has fundamentally changed in the last seven days or whatever time period we decide. We can see what's been won, what's been lost, and actually drill down by manager or by opportunity owner and see the information. But we don't want to just inspect the previous pipeline. We want to see the pipeline health. It's so shiny. Let me dazzle like a diamond in the rough. By inspecting the pipeline health, we can actually review the deals that are coming down the pipeline, see which ones need additional review, and be able to support our team when those weekly meetings come up. Speaking of the weekly meetings, our account executives love to use the account, the Akunu list view, to be able to update information quickly, including being able to hover and update fields on related objects, as well as be able to slice and dice and additionally flag deals for review. Now, consultant, this is where you come in because everything on this page is configure outable. What can I say except you're welcome. Here in this Akunu setup menu, you can click to configure any part of the app because we know that consultants need to make things customizable for their clients, including, for example, in this case, adding fields from related objects like account. Isn't that fantastic? Now you'll notice that this is yellow here. So for those following along at home, this is custom metadata. Custom metadata is notoriously hard to 
track via apps and via sandboxes, which is why we've built this custom interface, which might be unique to all apps across the app exchange, which allows you to look at configuration history, restore history if an admin has changed something, or even download and upload configuration, which makes it really easy to deploy between sandbox and, and production environments, which is fantastic. But the third and last thing that we're gonna show you is how you can actually take this and configure it even further and bring things all together. Show me the way. And this is how you as a consultant can integrate all the different pieces of your Salesforce configuration. Here you can deploy any existing custom Lightning components, custom flows, or even third-party applications to bring the whole Salesforce integration together. This is what Akunu for Kids reviews it. Scalable, secure, shiny. What can I say except you're welcome. Thanks very much. That was great. Yeah, the super moms uh, got that movie reference immediately, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind the app. Moana is very popular in this household. So yeah. good job. Great effort. Good effort with the headwear. Love it. Well done. <laughs> Extra points. Yeah. Not that my, unfortunately, my opinion doesn't count. It is uh, voted for by you watching. So yeah, put all this away in the back of your mind so you can think about um, not only points for headwear, but who has demonstrated their product and its benefits to you the best. Um, thanks so much, Megan, for joining us. I'm just going to move you off screen now, and we're going to move to our next um, app, which is Sharon Pits. So coming over to you now, Jean-Michel. Here we go. Add to stream. Yay. Hey, everybody. You and me well? <laughs> hey, great to have you with us. Like all the stuff in the background there, points for effort with the background. Uh, very on brand, on message. And Sharon is the image expert, so you tell me. This app gets all the features, components, tools, and integration you need when images are part of your Salesforce implementation. So let's get your screen shared. Here we go. There you go. You've got it up and running. And three, two, one, it's all yours. OK, thank you. So <laughs> I'm John Sherman, I'm the CEO and founder of Sharon uh, Very happy to be with you. Uh, Today, obviously, we are image experts and we do a lot around the images. We have everything. So you can do whatever Salesforce implementation require image support, we do it. So we are very famous for this kind of, uh, of features where you can have this kind of component uh, that hold all the images against the record. And, and when you click on it, you're going to see it bigger. You can see it with or without the annotation. You can edit it. You can add a title. You can even make some uh, uh, some interaction with Salesforce by selecting some images in a certain order. And boom, in a click, have them saved automatically in a table resized. Uh, and also uh, generate a PDF that's going to include all those images. And it comes with a legend uh, that is a formula in Salesforce that you can handle by yourself. Uh, it's the size and resolution of images that you want. But we are also doing other things, and especially for field people, uh, if you have a, a, a need around map, we do annotation on maps. So as an example here, if I go on a specific building uh, for, for that, I can make annotation for a specific building and have the area that's going to be calculated automatically. But not only that, if I do not have a Google Map version on that, but I just have a, a floor plan as a PDF, I can upload that. I can even have inspection points that are coming with my own fields and even images that I can list out and do crazy thing with it. But if I go on the mobile world, then I can have a checklist of things to be done. So let me pick my, my, uh, my mobile. I can then take pictures accordingly to a specific record about all the things. I can take a lot of pictures very easy. Oh, I got a document to scan. What about if I snap it and boom, it's a document that is scanned. But you know, you know what? Maybe I can do something even better. So instead of uh, scanning a document, what I can do is editing a PDF form that could be uh, preset with some values from Salesforce. Here it is coming. So I can check some checkbox. I can add some values. I can even make that signed by the customer if needed. And that will be uploaded right away to Salesforce. It also supports to receive 
images uh, as well as a video thanks to Nati Video, which is the next one, uh, which is uh, one of our partners. So if you receive this kind of email, then you can jump on the PDF that contains all those data uh, directly uh, edited offline. And when you click on even an image or a video, you will be able to see that image in a bigger resolution uh, whenever it's needed uh, uh, at the relation. So let's go on the app exchange. We are here to help you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much. Looks like a great product. Um, well, I think I'm getting some feedback there, possibly from uh, your mic. But thank you very much for that great high energy um, demo. And yeah, interesting that it happens to uh, work with native video, our next guest for the Demo Jam, Demo Jam winners of old. Right, let's add you to the stream. Right, bye-bye Jean-Michel, thank you very much. And hello to, let's find you Luca, where are you? Here we go. I'm here. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello everybody. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe, we, I don't know, we've done you a bit of a favor by having this today and maybe not next week, depending on how Sunday goes. <laughs> I'm not I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying I'm just uh, you know keeping my cool. I'm in the wrong country to <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> so native video, your great project. You are the CEO and well co-founder and COO and Luke is here to tell us all about native video. They believe that there is a better, easier, and smarter way to create and share information, and that is through video. Native Video is the first recording, uploading, and playback platform that is built natively on Salesforce. So you've got three minutes to show us about your um, latest project. Here you go. Thank you very much, Abigail. And thanks, uh, everybody. Hello. So this is Native Video. Yes, we believe that there's a better way uh, to create, share information across your CRM, and we've built it based on, on video. Um, I, well, first of all, let me actually congratulate everybody else that came before us, because th those presentations were amazing, and uh, your solutions are magic. Let me see if I can add some magic to that. So I'm going to tell you a story. Our story actually starts at the dentist's, um, because uh, there's a dentist and you know she's going to the reception and she's saying to the receptionist, we have a problem with the chair. The chair is broken. It doesn't work anymore. Can you call the experts? Can you call the technicians uh, that typically repair our chair? So what does the receptionist do? Well, you know, she picks up her phone in the way that I'm doing here and she um, makes a phone call to the, um, uh, the call center, right? So the call center is on the phone with uh, the receptionist and is creating a new case for this problem. Uh, so there's, you know, associated with the dentist client, the case origin is actually the phone, uh, priority is medium, and it's a broken chair. That's the problem that, you know, I'm reporting. Now, as we create this uh, new case, um, I'm on the phone with the customer. I can tell the customer, look, um, I'm going to send you a link now because I can't really figure out exactly what the problem is with the chair so that we can better contextualize what the problem is. What you, I'm going to put that upload a video of the issue and I'm going to share the link and I'm going to send this over. So I'm on the phone with the customer and can tell them, the receptionist, hey, help me contextualize better what the problem is. So we're now going back to the dentist and uh, we're actually in uh, the reception <laughs> and the receptionist has received um, an email with a link. Clicking on the link opens up um, a page or lands on a page which is branded uh, to the manufacturer of the chair. And you know, we're, we're supporting that, of course. And uh, there's a big button there that says upload the video. You'll notice there's another one uh, with pictures and that's in collaboration with, yeah, you guessed it, Sharing Pics, our partner. But in this case, we're requesting a video. So we want to take a video of the problem with the chair, the problematic chair. So here's the receptionist at the dentist. Hey, yes, so this is the, the chair and it's broken. It doesn't go up or down, right? So this is the um, video. The video is now uploading and magically and almost in real time, as you'll see here, we're thanked. And if we go back to headquarter and we refresh this, you will see that now directly in the case, 
we have a visual representation on video seen through the eyes of the receptionist and the dentist of exactly what the problem is. And you can see the video is now processing, it will be processing and it will be playable with its own transcription there. Let me play back and there we are. That's my time. Thank Great. you, everybody. We go just in time there. Well, we'll give you that extra bonus minute. We're going to beat you on Sunday anyway, so you're allowed that bonus couple of seconds. Super. <laughs> Thank you. So, much. Um, so last but by no means least, we've got Peter at Duplicate Check. So I'm just going to wave bye bye to Luca. Thank you very much. And add in Peter. And I believe you also. Hi, Peter. And you have Hi. Chris who's going to be working away in the background, I believe. With Robert, he will share the screen. Robert, sorry, Robert, where is he? Can't actually, let's go to the top. Aha, here we go, got him, add, and add. There we go. So, duplicate check. Peter is going to give us a demo of duplicate check and record validation. These native Salesforce data quality solutions offer extreme flexibility and save you hundreds of hours with fine-grained automation and integration options. I've got a note here that after this session, you've got a race to the pool for your water polo training. Good fun fact. So yeah, you're keen to keep it to three minutes. You've got other stuff on. Okay. Um, so yeah, over to you. Your three minutes starts now. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. We are Peter and Robert from Plowdy. And we're going to show you two of our native force applications, duplicate check and record validation. In our solutions, we have three areas we focus on. One for daily users, one for admins, and one for the integration, so more the IT part. And all features are focused on cleaning, preventing, and uh, operate entirely in Salesforce. So for the daily user, regular Salesforce users, they just create records uh, or look at existing records. Or they create them manually. And our solutions are seamlessly integrated into the daily workflow. Uh, for example, when creating a new record in your Salesforce while typing, it provides live duplicate alerts and formats and validate the email, phones, or physical addresses. It saves time and it improves the data quality uh, and, and saves a lot of frustration. And when working on existing records, the live components on the page show the validated status and the duplicate information. So with that, it provides a single customer view and users can directly merge or validate with just a single click. For admins or consultants, you can leverage the batch functionalities on validation and on deduplication uh, on existing records uh, within your Salesforce. <clears throat> By starting a duplicate check job, you will find all duplicates based on the predefined scenarios. And this is a bit of the configuration. So a scenario consists out of fields, uh, the combination of uh, a matching method and weighting. Uh, but that results in, in, in results. Now back to the job. If you're on the job is finished, you can clean up the duplicates by reviewing them and decide what to do. Manually merge, quick merge, and mass merge without any limits. <clears throat> so that's what you do. On the integration part, uh, uh, they work on an, any entry source, whether this is API. So take this web form, for example. We, as the people from the Netherlands, we love free stuff and love French baguettes. So when the two comes together, we cannot resist the offer. But as the bakery, you don't want to send the 50 free baguettes twice to the same person. So whenever someone fills in the form, you would like to know in Salesforce, if that person already exists and audit, and if its values are valid. So the, the direct processing does not interrupt automated processes. It will keep all relevant information. It will simply merge the new leads into the existing records and validate all values. So you make sure that you send out 50 baguettes just once and not twice to the same person and send a valid email, uh, send a notification to a valid email. Thank you. Perfect timing. <laughs> Two seconds left. <laughs> that was really good timing. Well done. And excellent teamwork there because one of you is controlling the screen while the other one was speaking, right? And you're not even in the same place. So no, that's really no, good. no. Same earth. Really, yeah, really impressive teamwork. Well done. Um, 
So I am going to bring you all back on screen now. So we will um, add a few people back in. Adjourn, get all your lovely faces back on screen. Hello, everybody. We've got everyone just Jean-Michel. Here we go. Right, is that everyone or am I missing? Oh, I'm missing Darth. <laughs> there we go. You do it. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone so much for those um, great demos. So I'm just going to hand over to Jen momentarily to let us know how the voting is going to work. And then we're going to come back for a couple of questions. And if anyone out there has any questions, please do uh, put them in the chat. I've got a couple here, but we can take a few more. If you'd like to put them in the chat, we will try and get as many answered as possible. Jen, over to you. Hi, everyone. Thank you. That was amazing. I love all the props, by the way. Fantastic. Great job. Um, so if you liked what you saw, you've got a particular favourite and you want to vote for them, on the side of your screen where the chat is, you'll see that there is an option that says poll. If you click on that, there is a question already in there and there is an option for every single one of our amazing jammers. If you just pick which one you prefer and I will be able to collate the information um, and then while everyone is voting, if we could maybe go back to any questions that you might have. Um, I have one particularly about free baguettes. Are we all getting them? Um, and also Megan's headdress. I think we might need all, all need one of those as well. Uh, but yeah, and then we'll come back in a few minutes time um, and we will see who is going to be crowned the winner. And I will be able to collate the information. I think we Abby, lost Abby. You're on Abby mute. Abby. She's on mute. Um, beyond do we have a free baguette, we do have some uh, questions. If you've got any more, do pop them in the chat. Um, but beyond that, I do have a question first up for um, Chris and the unicorn. <laughs> nice. You didn't use one in your presentation, but you're pulling it out now for the point. Can uh, you or the unicorn please um, let us know? Uh, how do you guys differ from um, native to Salesforce products? What's what's so great about it? Oh, I think you're on mute now as well. And I can't unmute you. you for, for yeah. that. uh, that's, that's a great question. And one we never want to uh, ask our consultants. Uh, so we are a Salesforce ISV RevShare partner and they are actually a customer of ours. So uh, they use this internally for their uh, CSM and their Tableau teams. And a couple of the ways that we vary is that uh, we store the data natively in Salesforce. So there's no having to deal with the issues that Einstein Activity Capture brings, which kind of compounds reporting, as well as having the data uh, deleted after a certain time frame. Uh, so just one of the issues right there because the data is stored natively in Salesforce. And we even do have a historical email sync to backtrack any of those Einstein activity capture issues you have. Um, also, one other feature is called our SmartLink Association, which would tie the, uh, the say, the event, email, or any kind of really task object to multiple record types simultaneously. So contact, account, opportunity, or custom object can all be added either automatically or individually as needed. So just another component there. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for answering that question. Thank you, Chris and the Unicorn. Um, I've got another question here. Loads of our lives are going um, online now, like this event. Hopefully we'll get to have it in person one day. But it is great because we get to see lots of people come together internationally, which is really nice too. And we have lived our lives on uh, things like Zoom for quite a while. So question for Limbio. Um, does Limbio events integrate with Zoom and online platforms? Yes, it does. I think Darth maybe was going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. We do have a Zoom integration that works very well. You can set it up quickly, um, and several of our customers are using that effectively. And what if you're like having free events? So, my background and quite a lot of people I've seen today actually are here from nonprofits. So, what if you're having a free event but asking for donations or selling swag? Can that work? With it, as well. it absolutely can work. And any any payment that is required in the event registration process does require Payment Connect as well. Um, we do have customers that use only Linvio events for all free everything for all free um, all free event registration with no payments involved. But yes, absolutely. 
donations is very popular. We have a, we have a large number of nonprofit customers. Yeah, great. And there's quite a few of them here today, actually. It's been really interesting in the chat getting to know where everyone's from. We've got quite a few nonprofit people. So it's been nice to see you all. Thanks for that, Brooke. Um, so with a lot of products, a uh, lot, of, lot of us out there, a lot of people out there are consultants. So they've got clients asking them for, you know, how long does all this stuff take? So um, Megan, we have one for you. How long does it take to implement a, a KUNU and things like pricing? How does all that work? And how um, how quickly can the org can the people at the organisation actually see the insights into the data that you're talking about? Yeah. Well, the first in terms of how quickly we've had customers report implementing it in less than an hour, actually, and being able to see all the historical data because it's it's the algorithm is purposely based on the standard opportunity history object. So you you can and you will get immediate insights into all your historical data, and then it's also a configuration available for you know, multi-currency, custom amount fields and things for folks that need to do um, more advanced things. And in terms of pricing, this is actually one of our uh, unique differentiators is that it's based on opportunity owner uh, and not by user. So all the folks, executives, finance, marketing can immediately access the app and get the insights. But the pricing is based on the average number of opportunity owners, which is $20 a user a month. Brilliant, thank you. If anyone has uh, any more questions for our um, demo jammers, please do put them in the chat. I'm still seeing questions about free baguettes. <laughs> Move on. I'm, <laughs> in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm okay with this. <laughs> in the meantime, though, a question for you, actually, Jean Michel, is yeah. uh, you know, photos and video takes up a lot of room. So, what about um, storage for pictures? On so yeah, the fact is that uh, we, we have our own storage, which could be the uh, customer storage, which is based on Amazon S3. So guess what? It free up the storage that you use in Salesforce for other things. Uh, and so it's unlimited storage that we are getting, uh, that you are getting with a, with a license. Nice. And um, we all live our life on our phones these days, quite a lot of people do anyway. So you're all fully, fully useful all across all devices. Yeah, it works everywhere. It works including on tablets, mobile, Android, iOS, and, and also on field service and work offline as well. So if ever you don't have any connectivity at this time, you can snap pictures or even videos. I know people that are doing videos the same way. And and, and all those going to be uploaded in background uh, directly in Salesforce. Then. Oh, perfect. I know, again, a lot of nonprofits have that use case where they're working communities that might not have access to the internet all the time. So that's really good to know. That's why. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. So staying on the theme of imagery and pictures, Luca, um, do you have an integration with your service? I'm guessing yes, because you're, you're working with um, Sharon Picks as well. Tell us. Yes, well, um, the storage question comes up, obviously, if it comes up for images, it comes up for us and, and uh, not uh, surprisingly, similarly to sharing peaks, our solution uh, relies on external storage just for the file, uh, the video file, because it would be prohibitive from a you know size and cost perspective to store them in uh, in Salesforce. So that's why we take care of it, and you know, like uh, as you know, what Jean Michel was saying, uh, the the partnership that we have with them enables unlimited videos alongside unlimited pictures if you're using both solutions in um, in a common library as, as we do with uh, some of our best clients. Great, thank you, Luca. Um, finally, Peter um, at Duplicate Check. Uh, thanks for sharing um, one of your ways to integrate Duplicate Check. Do you have um, another option that you wanna just um, tell us about and share with us? What other ways to integrate the Duplicate Check? <clears throat> well, uh, the package, when you install 90% of the set, even 99, but it, it allows you to, 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 it has REST API, Apex API, to connect to two other systems and, 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 and plugins to fully customize in any way you want to. And it goes for, for any solution we have. So IT, it's a, it's, it's a play box for IT as well. Although the admin can, can just plug and play and, and, and configure but it's, uh, it's highly flexible on either connect to other system as within Salesforce. We have 30 seconds left in total time. 
Thanks very much to everyone and all of you today. It's been really interesting to see some of your products. Some of them I was already a little bit familiar with, others were completely new to me as well. So it's really great demos, uh, really great fun and um, interactive uh, ways to share what you do. So thank you so much. Um, Jen, do we have a winner? And the winner, by the way, will be getting an official engraved trophy from our partners at the App Exchange, winging its way over to you. You'll have to take some pictures when you actually finally receive it. Um, but Jen, do you want to share with us your winner? Yes, I do think we have a winner. And I have to say, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to meet you, Abby, hold on. There we go, that might be a bit easier. Please, can you all take selfies with your props and share them? They are amazing. I don't think I've seen a demo jam with a unicorn, Darth Vader, a dentist chair, a Moana hat. Make sure we've got a baguette in the picture. What other, other props we can find? I mean, they're amazing. <laughs> but yes, we do have a winner. I'm just going to refresh my page again just to make sure I've got everybody's in. Um, if I could do a drum roll, I would do. Is Luca doing a drum roll? Oh, okay. Little drum roll, thank you. Um, our winner is sharing pics. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Well done. I must admit, I'm super happy. Thank you all. Thank you all. I really appreciate that. That's uh, that's 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 a great pleasure. <laughs> I think you all deserve a prize, though. You're all amazing. But, yeah, fantastic. Well done, Sharon Fix. It's amazing. And you will be getting a trophy. Thank you. You can Thank show you. Yeah. <laughs> well, and no. I yeah, I definitely share that also with uh, with 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 our partner, Natty Video, which is uh, helping us and, and backing up us on, on the video side as well, which is which is part of the demo that we did. That, that's very that's kind. Very it might be the only trophy you get if yeah. they don't win the they football win on the football. Sunday. Yeah. So free baguettes and free crescents. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> Sounds good. So just, uh, just finally to wrap up, if you do want any more information um, about each of the products, you can head to the Marketplace booths where you can go and meet all the sponsors, find out a bit more information there, register your details with them if you'd like some follow-up information. Do please go over and do that. That would be great. Thanks to everyone if you've joined us today in the UK. It is uh, towards the end of the day for us. So I hope you've really enjoyed all the content that you've seen. If you're in the US or any other time zone, I hope you really enjoy all the rest of the content that you've got to come. It's really, really great. Um, it's been great getting to meet so many of you. And hopefully we will see you again. All your feedback has been great. So And please do continue to tell us what you've enjoyed, what you want to see more of. It's really helpful for the volunteer team behind this to know that so that we can make it even better next time. Well, but with that, well done, John Shell and Sharon Pitt. And um, Thank you. until next time. Bye, everyone. Have a good rest of the day. Definitely. See you all. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>